The International Court of Justice is to rule today on South Africa's application for the suspension of what it argues is Israel's genocidal military action against Palestinians in Gaza. The director of the Center for Social Justice at Stellenbosch University, Professor Tuli Madonsela, explains that the ICJ will not deal with the main question of whether Israel is committing genocide or not, but the intent of genocide. There are two key decisions that the court has to make, and then sub-decisions sub within that. The, the one decision is to decide whether or not to accept jurisdiction because Israel has disputed jurisdiction. And in terms of the powers of the ICJ and the Genocide Convention, parties in dispute have to engage each other before declaring a dispute and then taking the matter to the ICJ. South Africa says it took the matter to the ICJ when a, a, a dispute had emerged and Israel says there was sufficient, there was not sufficient engagement. Um, but taking into account the agency of the matter, I would expect the ICJ to understand that South Africa had to act agents agently uh, because every day of not making a decision, people were dying, people were being displaced, people were not getting medical support, people were not getting food, and just generally all of the elements of genocide. And then the second decision is the merits of the case, which is not going into the merits of genocide at this stage, is that is there a plausible case of genocide? On that one, it is piece of cake. 